when the narcissist meets someone bigger and badder. When they meet someone who displays a greater sense of importance. Someone who is more influential. Someone who is more enthusiastic. Someone who is more capable. But also a person who is more vicious and aggressive in behavior than they are. When the narcissist meets a person like this, they will immediately feel intimidated by them. It will impress them so much that they become silent and inhibited. It will stop them in their tracks because they don't know how to respond to this type of situation. They don't know how to deal with someone who is bigger and badder. So it will intimidate them. And in this type of situation, you may even see the narcissist becoming submissive. They may be willing to conform to their authority. They may be obedient and passive. They may be compliant and accommodating. Because they're forced to accept that they're dealing with someone who is bigger and badder than they are. In some situations, they may even admire and seem to respect this person. It may seem like they look up to them. But really, they just see them as an object. They just see them as something that they can use to benefit themselves. They don't really admire or respect them, although it may look that way. They just admire their achievements, qualities and skills, which is why they will try to steal it from them. They will steal everything that makes this person who they are, because they can see they get a lot of attention and admiration, which is what the narcissist wants for themselves. But they don't want to do the work to be something for real. So instead, they will just be that person right now. They will imitate their mannerisms and characteristics because they want to emulate this person. They want to model their success. But it isn't real. They're just a second-rate version of someone else. But the narcissist doesn't really care. They're not concerned with authenticity. As long as they can get people to believe it, that's good enough for them. All they care about is their image. Because their image affects how they see themselves. But when the narcissist meets someone bigger and badder, they will often become submissive. They won't seem so loud and aggressive. They will be more willing to listen and understand this person's views. And in that moment, they may actually seem quite normal. When a narcissist is about to receive something of value, something that can benefit them, they will seem like normal people because they're anticipating what's to come. When the narcissist meets someone bigger and badder, they will hang on their every word. They will listen very carefully to what they're saying 
and it may seem like they admire or respect them. But deep down, the narcissist may actually be very envious and jealous of this person. They may feel like they're still in the spotlight, which they feel so entitled to. But because this person may also be more vicious and more aggressive than the narcissist, they're not going to take them down directly. The narcissist is not going to willingly put themselves in a dangerous situation. They're cowards. They run from danger. But they will plot behind the scenes to take this person down. They will spread rumours about them. While acting like they care about them. They will do whatever it takes to tarnish the reputation because they're envious and jealous of them. They will steal whatever they deem to be valuable from them, whatever qualities or characteristics they decide to have. But then they will become very bitter and resentful towards this person. They will want to take them down because they hate the feeling of someone being superior to them. They don't like how that feels. The narcissist has to be the best. They have to be the winner. So they will do whatever it takes to cause loss or failure for this person. So that they can feel more comfortable. So that they can feel better about themselves. But they will not confront them directly. Narcissists can be delusional, but sometimes they're just forced to submit to a superior force. So sometimes they may just make passive aggressive comments about this person, but they won't go all out to take them down. They will just accept defeat and they will put their focus elsewhere because they realize that they're fighting a losing battle. They realize that this is one fight they cannot win. So they will hide in the shadows or they will pursue some other agenda because they're forced to accept that they've met someone bigger and badder than they are. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coached inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.